Hello YouTube, this is going to be a quick video on how to wipe a computer's hard drive. Now, this is a uh, little hard drive that I have, it's old but I'm using it for the sake of demonstration. I will show you how to safely remove all the data off this without having to smash it. So, first you need to understand what wiping a hard drive is. It's not the same as um, reformatting a hard drive, because when you reformat a hard drive there are still bits and pieces of data left behind that aren't destroyed that someone with the right software could use to recover the data. So, what we did was we use a bootable program to boot a computer up off of and wipe the hard drive with. Now, there's an array of different programs you can use, but I, I like using one called DBAN, Derek's Boot and Nuke. I'll give you a little bit of info on that right now. So this is DBAN's website. The address is dban.org. Simple enough. And I've used this program to wipe literally hundreds of hard drives, and I, I, I trust it a lot. Um, although, however, not all computers seem to like to boot from it. So, um, you can you have you have two options. You can either burn it to a DVD or a CD, or there's a little program you can download to put it on a USB flash drive. And the program is rather small. When you go to download it, um, download. Um, the file is not that big. The latest version for CD and DVD media is not very large. I downloaded starting shortly, but. Um, if you want to load it onto a USB, just download that file. I think it's around 19 megabytes. And there is a web page here. You can get this web page by typing in the address or by just Googling DBAN USB. And um, here are some directions on how to load it onto a USB drive. It's actually not that difficult. All you need to pay attention to is that. You download their USB installer and uh, use a little program. And you download DBAN for the CD and DVD. And... Um, you, you tell it where that file is, you tell it what flash drive you want to load it onto, and it loads onto the flash drive, you can boot off of it. So this is pretty self-explanatory, I don't think I really have to go over it too, too much. All you really gotta do is just download the, the program DBAN and put it on a CD, a DVD, or use these instructions here to put it onto a USB drive. So after you have the uh, program on a DVD or a CD or a USB, uh, plug your hard drive in, if it's not already, and make sure that the only hard drives you have plugged in, the only storage devices, I mean, um, that are plugged in are the ones you want to wipe, because DBAN will wipe any drives that are plugged into the computer. Uh, the, the exception of which is that the newest version of DBAN is not supposed to wipe any USB devices you have plugged into your computer, but just to be safe, make sure that the only drives you have plugged in are the ones that you want to wipe. Now, you, you go ahead and you start up your computer, and my, my drive's jammed, so... Come on, open up. You have to go to your boot menu. Some computers are set to automatically boot from um, disks. Some are not. Depends on your BIOS settings. But um, just going manually to the boot menu is the best option usually. Okay. And I'm going to select the boot from the DVD-ROM drive because that's where the disk is. And if you have a USB drive, then what it does is it just goes ahead. You just have to select it to boot from the USB device rather than from like your DVD drive or whatever which it might do automatically depending on your settings. Now, here is the DBAN main screen. What I usually do is I usually type auto nuke. What it does is it automatically uh, destroys the data on all the drives and plugged in, but there's also some other options. But auto nuke is really the easiest thing. And however, this program does take a very long time depending on the drive size. So there is, it's loading up. And if the DVD or CD doesn't work for you, if it gives you like a uh, Linux error or something when it's trying to boot up, just try it off the try the um, USB drive trick and that should fix the problem. But you have to keep in mind, however, that this does take a very long time, depending on the size of the hard drive. Um, hard drives that are about 40 gigabyte, which are very small, usually take about an hour for me, but anything larger than that, uh, like a 500 gigabyte, might take up to 20 hours of just wiping to destroy the data on. But however, it does it does destroy all the data, so you really don't have to worry about anyone you know, stealing your data off your drives. So there it is. It's all loaded up and it's going. There's a percentage of how far it's gone, and there's the estimate remaining time that hasn't popped up yet since it doesn't have enough data to work off of. I guess yeah. There we go. About an hour left. This drive is 30 gigabyte, 27 actually, but. Uh, so it will take me about an hour to wipe, which isn't too bad, but if you have a big hard drive, especially if it's very slow, it will take a very long time. 
that's it for this video. I do truly hope that this was helpful for any of you who want to figure out how to wipe a hard drive. It's a pretty straightforward process. And obviously there are other programs out there that will do the same thing. But um, I just like using this program because I've used it so many times and it's reliable for me. So, uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my other videos.